Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mystical. Today I am bringing you a video going over the 10.0.5 Mistweaver changes. There were a lot of people that didn't quite know what the changes were, so figured I would just go through them. I also put the patch notes in the description below. And with that said, let's jump right into the video. The first thing I want to start off with is the spells. So there's only one spell that's getting buffed in 10.0.5, and that's Revival. So Revival healing is getting increased by 100%. If I come over here and I... Do, let's see, Revival healed me for 70,000 healing. So I don't know if 100% is going to be enough. It's, I mean, it's more healing, which is good for both PvP and PvE. But right now, it honestly feels like Revival isn't much of a cooldown. In PvP, it's good because you have Peace Weaver, so you have a Dispel with the immunity, which is nice. But in PvE, I don't really consider it much of a cooldown besides Dispelling debuffs. Now, the biggest changes come with talents. If you open up the talent tree on PTR, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see a few, there used to be two or three different things. The first thing is we get a new talent here called Burst of Life. So what this does is Life Cocoon's cooldown is reduced by 20 seconds, but its absorption amount is reduced by 40%. When Life Cocoon expires, it releases a Burst of Mist that restores 32,000 health to three nearby allies. I don't know if that's split between them. I can test right now, but I'm pr if it works any, any way like BFA, it is split and then you you're better off using it when like you're far away from people because then you get the full heal let me see so this right here if i just oh it didn't copy with my keybinds if i cocoon myself and then i get rid of it it yep it heals 62,000, 32,000, and it did it heal me let me see yeah so oh no everyone got healed for the same this one just crit that's really cool so everyone got healed for thirty-two thousand, right just like it says and then one of them crit. So it was healed for 62,000. 32,000 is kind of like, eh. But, I mean, the cooldown on, on it is kind of reduced, which is which is really nice. So I think it's going to be good for PvE. It's definitely not going to be good for PvP. For sure not going to be good for PvP. But in PvE, it's, it's pretty solid. The next big talent change is in the bottom right-hand corner. And it is the Legion Artifact Weapon ability that we had. It's Shailun's Gift. So what it does is when you're in combat... You're going to generate clouds, and you'll see the Shailun's Gift ability is right here on my bar. Every eight seconds, you're going to generate a cloud. If you go into the next tower underneath, it's going to be every four seconds. I'll explain that after this. And then for each cloud that you have, I, I, it, does it say a certain amount? Up to three of our allies? No. No. Good. All right. So the actual ability doesn't uh, stack. It uh, doesn't matter. So for each cloud that you have, it's going to heal you. And then nearby allies, which is pretty good. This is this is a really, really uh, pretty strong ability. I think for PvE, I think it's kind of necessary. It's going to be hard to do with while you're fist weaving. But I think, you you know, two-second cast shouldn't be too bad. And it does cost mana. It costs 6,250 mana. I think that's 2.5% of your mana and with a two-second cast time. Now, the talents underneath it are which in, what, what's interesting. So the first talent is Veil of Pride. So this increases the Shadeland's Gift Cloud of, of Mist generation to four seconds, every four seconds. So originally you're gonna generate a cloud every eight seconds, but with this talent, you generate a cloud every four seconds. Really good, I think, uh, for generating clouds. I think this might be the go-to for PVP. I don't know what, I don't know about like maybe Mythic Plus. I don't know, cause the next talent is pretty good. So uh, Shoho's Lessons. Each time you cast Shannon's Gift, you learn one of Shoho's Lessons for up to 30 seconds based on how many clouds of mist you are that you are consumed i don't know how many clouds you need to consume to get the 30 second buff i'm assuming maybe it's max i think the max stacks is 10 now they reduced it from 12 to 10 i'm pretty sure i shouldn't be getting an 11th one yep all right so they capped it at 10 and if i go over here and i spec into this right here so there's four different buffs you can get you get let me stay in comments so i have clouds um there's four different buffs you can get less than doubt your spells and abilities deal up to 35 percent more healing and damage to targets based on their current health lesson of despair your critical strike is increased by 30 percent while above 80 percent health uh, lesson of fear decreases your damage taken by 15 percent and increases your haste by 25 percent and lesson of anger 25 percent of damage or healing you deal is duplicated over four seconds so these are it's rng what buff you get but they're pretty powerful. It is. It, it does come at a cost though, because you're not running the every four second uh, cloud. You're gonna every eight seconds, so it's gonna take twice as long to get sta to get stacks. But let me see. Do I keep my my buffs? Okay, I keep my clouds. So this is a ten stack of. Oh, this is a ten stack of Shailun's gift. Uh, one hundred and seventy five thousand heal on other people. I get the lesson of despair, which is your critical strike is 
increase by 30% while above 80%. I want to test something real quick. I just want to see if I lose the buff I drop below 80%. All right, let me see if I could just drop health here. So you don't lose it. Okay, that's really... I thought you were gonna, like if you drop below 80% health, you were going to lose the buff instantly, but that's not how it works. The good thing is that there isn't a cooldown on Shailun's gift. So what I really like about it is in PvP, for this, from, from my point of view in PvP, I really like the Veil of Pride just because... You know, every four seconds you're in combat most of the game, so you're just gonna be generating clouds, and you could you, there is no there's no cooldown on this, so you could just you know just keep generating clouds. It's too bad it costs mana. I don't think it costs mana in Legion, and then I think for PVE, I think these all these buffs are really good. And then they got rid of bonus brew. Uh, I don't think that matters in PVE. I never really ran it, but in PVP, it is gonna be a, quite an adjustment because I we've been running that for like two expansions straight now. <laughs> so yeah i don't know i think it's gonna be it's gonna be weird for sure but i think we'll be okay i don't know i think we'll be okay it, it we are gonna be losing out on a lot of instant healing in pvp but i think overall we should be fine i'm actually like cannot believe how much healing shaylin's gift does and then the final change comes to the pvp talents because they added bursts of life to the game that reduces the life life cocoons cooldown by 20 seconds they nerf chrysalis from 45 seconds to 30 seconds so now, you know, unless you run, I mean, we could run Burst of Life and get, what, a minute 10? Yeah, a minute 10 second Life Cocoon. But it's just not, I think Common Coalescence is still going to be better. And we're just going to have a minute and a half Cocoon. So, yeah, it, it's very, very unfortunate that, you know, we kind of get nerfed because of that that talent. But hopefully, hopefully it doesn't matter. Maybe, uh, you know, Shailun's Gift is going to be pretty big. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it. Those are the changes to Miss Weaver, uh, new talents, a little buff to PvP talents, and then a buff to revival as long as you're not in a raid. So overall, I mean, I think we're gonna come out maybe ahead. I hope so. I hope I hope we come out ahead with these changes, and uh, I guess we're just gonna have to see. So I would love to know what you guys think. Please let me know. I, I am interested to see other points of view, and that is pretty much it. Hope everyone has a fantastic day. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you later.